back for an all-new season of Ink Master. This is wild. And three-time Ink Master winner DJ Tambi returns as a judge. Guaranteed there's going to be some shots fired. I gotta watch all that. You're gonna get it, because you talk a lot, bro. <laughs> This tattoo is badass. That is insanity. This piece is super dynamic. You better strap in and be ready for the ride. Victory is a work of art. Ink Master, new season, now streaming exclusively on Paramount+. Plus. Basketball fans, it's KG here. Hoop season is back, and I can't wait to kick off this season with the King of Sportsbook. This season, take advantage of BetMGM's first bet offer. When you place your first wager on basketball using my code KG1500, yes, KG1500, you got to register an account and make your first wager. If you lose, you get your stack back in bonus bets up to $1,500. Start the NBA season off right with KG Certified and the authorized gaming partner of the NBA, BetMGM, your boy. Hey, listen, the first thing we need before we start this interview, I need y'all to go buy the sample and we need 10 seconds of the future. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. <laughs> wiggle, wiggle. We, we need it. We need it for the post for the first part of this show, all right? We're not going to open up with this ticket in truth. No, we open up with wiggle, 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 wiggle. The wiggle. Hey, Lord, listen. If James Harden don't go down for anything else in life, he should go down as the goat of the wiggle. The Ain't no superstar guy or listen. Let me tell y'all something. For all y'all out there that don't know how to do this stuff, listen. First off, let me, let me turn this off. Let me turn this off. I'm so, I'm so hyped. I'm so hyped because I know if they get this right, bro, they, they can shift the West. Hit me out. Bro, when you are a superstar, say Michael Jordan. Let's just use Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant, somebody that had, like, league influence. You know what I'm saying? Bro, you can ask what you want. A lot of times... These, these GMs, these owners are ego, and these deals are ego, emotional. You know what I'm saying? James Harden has got to be the first cat I've ever seen that gets the request he asked for, Pete. Like, like, like it's amazing. If he don't go down as anything else, bro, I don't even know. It's got to be Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan is James Harden's age. <laughs> Real shit. No, no that money no, came no, out early no, no. when it was disgusting. And we was all like, oh, what, Jay? And it was all, man, I want to go to Clippers. And we was like, <laughs> hey, we no. laughed. James we laughed. Hold no, on, no. on the real. He, the, he is the face of player empowerment. Listen, he is. Listen, let me tell you. <laughs> all you players Ain't out there. Nobody that, ever moved the, like he moved no. in the league. He ever. is Moses. He moves it and it moves. You like, hear me? I'm off he parched the seat, God damn it. Listen, real shit. Um, uh, what is it? Right. Jacoby and Myers? If you're looking for one of them wiggle lawyers to get out of your deal, call James and Harden. Call James we'll get, and Harden. James and Harden. We get you out your deal. <laughs> we get you where you want. We'll for get the right you where price, you want to be. Hey, listen. We'll listen, get you man. where you want to be. Hey, listen, man. It's taking the truth, man. Let's get into this shit, man. P, the West cracking, Pete. Oh, my P, the West God. cracking. I don't care what you're talking about, Pete. What you mean, the West it, The West is it's so, it's, it's so West. What you it's talking so about? West. Wait, what you talking about, the West cracking? Okay, so listen, I'm going to go ahead and get these jabs out the way, right? Because I saw the fat boy try to go at you when you said the Wilt Chamberlain Wimby, he didn't understand it was over his head. He had a he journalist. I know. Who, the first who, time, oh, listen, just know. follow it. I'm going. Yeah, 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 yeah. When, I saw, when I saw you through the Wilt in there, I was like, because Wilt was the first we ever seen at that athletic do all that, right? right yeah. Right. We never seen 7476 do this to Bo Bo and Wimby came out here doing what they doing. You know, nutmegging the motherfucker, going to, catching lobs left, like, right, strike, right. So that's a jab at you, right? You know what you're talking about, Lord. You look good on that joint, too. Uh. A little square, but it's all good. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You're back in the business now. You're back home. You know what I'm talking about? Rest Pete. Yeah, that we was got Paul. That was Paul. Troop is Troop here. Troop is on here, right. Troop you know is on here with the. <laughs> Listen, I never seen a team with four future Hall of Famers on it, P. And if it was, it was the Lakers. 83, 85, 86, 87. You lying? You it was, lying? Oh, I'm talking, okay, you talking about, okay, yeah. Paul Pierce, Kevin Gardner, Ray Rondo, Allen, Rajon Rondo. Rondo. Yeah, I knew he was going to go there. I was going to go there. Yeah, what I, you talking about? I was getting there, P. You just beat me to it. What I'm saying is, bro, like, in they prime, bro? In they, they, in they prime? prime? I mean, ain't, nah, ain't, Ka ain't none of Kawhi, in yo, Kawhi is on the downside of his prime, but Kawhi can give you 45 right now. 
If you can go out and get 50 right now, you a bad motherfucker. That's what I'm saying. I'm talking about that. I'm talking about with the energy to be able to go to. But he's on the downside of it. Bro, I ain't never seen. He the youngest out of all of them. You he know the youngest. I'm talking about, I'm talking about ability. I don't yeah, but fuck. he the youngest, so. You yeah, know, he the youngest, sense. but he looks the oldest. He does not look the freshest. He don't look I mean, like. he dealt with like 10 surgeries. So it's tough. Yeah, under it the take radar. Out of under you. the radar. It take, it, take, it take a lot out of Low key. You. And two, bro. I mean, what you saying though right what now? What I'm saying is what you this saying? addition with Harden moves the line of the Clippers being a real threat, bro. Like, we keep talking all this Lakers shit. I get it. They're going to need some games. Everybody need those games. We're talking about Denver. They the champs. No disrespect. But, man, this got to change the move, man. I don't even care how you move it. It's basketball after this. It's, man, I hope, I, man, I, I want the Clippers to be successful just so the monk of, of the West is, is in a monk. You know what I'm saying? I love this for basketball, bro. No, no. You know what the Clippers are? They like that joker in the deck. Mm. Like that joker you got in space that right, you keep right, low key. Right, like right, you, right, right when you think you're about, about to run it. You, uh, they, they like that joker in the West. It's, the, uh, it's that joker. They like it's that, that joker. Slow down. It's no, that, no, no, it's no. They, they, like, they like the small joker, not big joker yet. Because you got the big joker in Denver. Facts. You know what I'm saying? That's you got a good the big joker. Ah, bars, bars. <laughs> truth, nigga. Because Keep going, truth. Because when they throw the small joker out, big joker can still come over the yeah, top. Yeah, so they So, you know what I'm saying? So, but like, they a wild card is what I'm saying. I because, love it, though. I mean, yeah, you got the names, but I'm just trying to see how, how it all going to work out. You know, who going to be the point? Is Russ coming off the bench? Is Harden going to start? Is they, what kind of offense they going to run? Is they going to be running pick and roll with Harden and Zubak? Or is... is, is is Kawhi gonna be in the corner? Is they like what kind of offense you gonna really run? And then like, you know, Harden's in the contract year. Do he feel like he could be Harden that was in Philly that averaged twenty and ten, lead the league? Do they need that Harden? You know what I'm saying? Or are we gonna have the Paul George we had last year that averaged 25, 26 as long as Kawhi? They all can't do what they do all together. So who gonna be the odd man out? Is what I'm saying. So hear this out. I'm gonna answer that. But hear this out. Yeah, I think there's some other parts going on too. You know who up for extensions, right? All of them. Right. <laughs> so that's what I'm saying. Okay, mainly your two guys who are your premier uh, franchise guys, right? So now we playing. I can afford now to lose one of y'all. I'm just saying. Okay. If one of y'all okay. want to leave, I, I got, you know what I'm saying? So it's, it's a bunch there in the pot. Can the Clippers keep all this together? It'll be dope to see it for basketball fans. That's what I'm saying. Another thing too, man, uh, all this, you know, guys getting hurt and all that, I got something for that. Like for basketball, bro, it's like when I saw Phoenix. When you had Bill Booker, uh, KD, it didn't even matter because you need, a, you need a, a defensive guy too. And I'm going blank on my dog's name in Phoenix who plays all, he plays hard. Nurkic. Uh, no, the little number oh, two guy. He, he plays Boku, the defense. Yeah, Boku, Boku, that's my, whatever. So you got him name. on the floor to play the best wing, man. right? What's his name? Akogi, Akogi. 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 yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So I Pete, like so I what like I'm it. saying, when I saw Phoenix, I was like, so... If you're the point guard, you come into action, you play action. Who you gonna, who you gonna come off a Booker? That's how I was looking at it. That's the situation right here. You got four, you got four guys on the perimeter that can not only play make, but to get a bucket and make Zubak better in pick and roll. So now it's about who you fill in corners with. You got your best shooters in the corner. If, if it come off the board and James get it, then boom, Russ, I'm, I'm replacing. I'm looking at it as gonna be something question. like that because of where we at with the pace and where the, the league is and where how you play now. You remember when um, Golden State had shooters, 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 and then had Iguodala out there, and then, you know, you know what I'm saying? Who could make a three in the corner? It's, it's something like that. But because of this right here, bro, we, bro, this puts them on the line to me. To me, this, this made the line jump. This made the West go from wherever we was talking about to, oh, snap, the Clippers are in that conversation. And I want to see. And, Lord, they got P.J. Tucker to come along. Bro, that's, bro, you got a defender who can hit a corner. But bro, come on, bro. I know, I know um, Batum was supposed to be like a, the, the defender. You know what I'm saying? He was supposed to be that, like, kind of come in, stop. He's older. Man, you got P.J. Tucker who's came in here, guarded KD. Guard, you know what I'm saying? You got to guard Brian. Think about the West. This, now you got, uh, instead of Kawhi guarding your, your best perimeter, you could put P.J. Tucker now who can go down to the four. You know what I'm saying? He's strong enough to keep perimeters. Man, I, I love this for the Clippers, bro. I love this. So who y'all starting lineup? Man, who y'all starting? I'm, I'm starting all four there with Big Zoo. Let's run it. Oh, so, so let me saying, see what it look like. So you're saying Westbrook, Harden, all four y'all, right? Run it with Zuba. With, with Big Zoo, let's go. Let's go. And whoever got it can go. Think about it, P. You can mismatch all that. Pick and roll with uh, Kawhi in the middle. Pick and roll with Paul G in the middle. Pick who, and roll. Who, who, who running the point? Whoever get it off the board. It ain't no. We ain't, listen. This 
What 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 my dog say? This is fluid. <laughs> <laughs> Shout to Stephen A. You know what I'm saying? Listen, this is fluid. And hey, listen, it can't be traditional basketball. P it can't be okay. I'm the point guard. I gotta get. No, we know the plays. You even you even schooled me to that, bro. I had to start watching the game in your light and what you were saying to me. Y'all don't know this, but I go to Paul's house a lot of times and we watch the game and shit. We sitting there chilling and talking about various things, but then when the game come on, it's mostly basketball, and P would be like. Ah, ticket. It ain't no more plays. Ooh, and he'll be, as the game is going on, be like, I got an AU team. I know what we're teaching them and developing there. Look at this right here. And he'll go through like a real live tutorial. And Church will be like, man, we need the camera here. We should have recorded this. <laughs> what the fuck? But it's kind of like this, bro. Bro, the, the NBA ain't no more, hey, 452 twist. Right, hey, right, four right. up twist. It ain't no more plays. You. Low key, that's why I asked you about the intelligence shit. Yeah, Do you yeah. still have to have IQ to still play Hell today? Yeah, you gotta have IQ. Well, well mm, on rotation. You do. On rotation. I get on defense, but offense, Lord, it's about, man, what's up, Nate? You want some of this? Man, we'll work your loop. It's, it's work. So now I'm seeing that that place. Now, if you're not a playmaker, I know what I'm saying. Yeah, but if you're yeah, a yeah. playmaker, Kawhi playmaker. Fucking Paul George a playmaker. Okay. Uh, 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 Westbrook a playmaker. Harden can play mate. So it don't matter who is Zoo. If I'm hard and I got zoo, boom, I'm going to work it. Uh, you come off, got Westbrook. Uh, kick it, boom, shot. That's irreplaceable to me. That's Everybody in that thing is not traditional is what I'm, right, the point right, I'm saying. Right, you know what, what I'm saying? saying? So I've been watching the Clippers. I watched them since the, the Westbrook trade, how they play, right? Faster. So faster. Yep. I mean, I'm talking about Westbrook, his energy. He played well at the end of last yep, year. he did. And now at the beginning of this year, he's looking, he looking solid. Fresh, P. I mean, he playing defense. He competing. So now you're telling me we bring in Harden, and Harden's been known to be one of the highest ball usage players in NBA history, like since, since he's been since he got to Houston. Yeah, we played in so Houston. Now, we played in Houston. Do we change now. the way we play because of Harden? Are we gonna have high usage with him? Are we gonna change the offense? Or is he gonna fall into what we doing? He's gonna have to, P. He so, got to. So, like, how you how does that happen? So now. They've been playing well, right? So what you telling Westbrook? You the coach. You T. Lou. T. Lou, I'm finna sit all four down. Listen, we got a so, man. We got a crazy. Hey, look. Shout can Harden to play at that pace? Ha hell yeah. So if he don't get the rebound, he, he going he gonna Harden. He gonna try. He gonna fall in. <laughs> he gonna, but it's going. It's going. You think Kawhi spreading every motherfucking right, play? Right, 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 right. right. Okay. Lou, listen. This is just questions. I got you. Know, you Lord. I, we we I doing backyard. I'm just trying to play devil advocate, advocate yep. because talent figure it out. We always say that. Yeah, basketball. And I hope they do out. figure it out. Yeah, they are. You know what I'm saying? I'm just trying to say, just based on how Harden been his whole career, how does that fit? So, if it fit, it can be crazy. Right. It can be crazy. It, it, can, it can shake the league. Should That's be. why I said they the little joker. Listen, he got potential, bro, to come in here. If he fall in, he gonna fall in, right? Because this is the only opportunity you got, bro. You can't, you can't keep going I mean, somewhere being no a diva. He got no more wiggles. It ain't no more wiggles. He got to wiggle, wiggle, wiggles. It so ain't no more. He, he done. He got to pay the whole, right. you know what I'm saying? Got to go right. see future and all that, right? So I say this to say this. Imagine him getting it off the board. And then, too, he look. He, I, can, I can see this refreshing him. I can see him being back in L.A. Man, this is the crew that go play. Man, you put uh, DeMar, DeMar DeRozan in there. They got their Drew League. <laughs> they got the whole Drew Summer this League look, this joint. Look like this the is their Drew. Man, we got the Drew in the okay. Clipper joint, Joe. Right. Straight up. These guys play with each other. This is That's why I say it's so West. Man, they so West. You got all man, LA Man, Listen, All if LA I'm Balmer, I'm booking Ice Cube at halftime, Dub C, I'm Snoop. <laughs> War G. Lord, it's a whole, oh, it's West. War G. Lord, I'm in the bottom West, Lord. Come on, <laughs> E40, I'm bringing the Bay down. Lord, we finna nah, make he it the wet. He the no, nah, we you just keep it LA. Oh, yeah, that's right. Sorry. It's still uh, West. <laughs> it's so West. It's so West. It's so I love West. this. This is like. This is like, this, man, yeah, we ain't right, seen this see, we gonna see, This we is going to be dope. Shout to the Clippers. Shout to T. Lou. And then, two, shout to the Sixers. The Sixers got better, too, bro. Real shit. They got, listen, they moved, removed the cancer. Sixers did not get better, bro. Listen, they, they got some solid they pieces. Didn't get, they didn't get better. Listen. They didn't get no Are you closer. listening? No, I'm saying. I'm listening. I'm listening. Listen. I'm listening. Listen. Right, listen. Go ahead. Go ahead. Right. Go ahead. That's it. So, first off, you removed the problem. Okay. They just got like, better just, mentally. Man. Better. All right, go ahead, go ahead. Okay, that's it. I'm just saying better. If you want to, better. And then what I mean in that, you got guys now, like Batoon and those guys that went over there are role players that play hard. The, 
Real shit, the guys they sent over there was like the energy of the Clippers. They was the guys that dove on the floor, got on the ground. They was one that, you know, when they come back from them big deficits, it be those, it be those demands, it be the platoons, it be, it be, uh, what's my man from UCLA, number 24, knock it down, come in, um, I'm going blank on this name. Yeah, come on. But mo- it be that little group that bring them back. You know what I'm saying? Then here come PG. And, and I watched the Clippers come back from some crazy deficits. And those little guys, of those energy guys, they gonna go over there and make the uh, uh, make make uh, the 76ers better, and it ain't with all the ego uh, shit that you gotta deal with when you're dealing with a player. You know what I'm saying? You not remove the problem. Now they can focus on winning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you got Maxi think- with more responsibility and more gear, and 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 I think he's a future superstar. I think Tyrese Maxi is the next guard in our league that yeah, can get yeah. it done. And him I, and Joel, think- it's time for them to start growing now. That's where we at. I think they got better from subtraction, not addition. And what I mean by that, just getting Harden out of there made them better. Like the pieces they brought in, like, you know, they solid glue guys to me, like in the locker room, you know. Better, uh, like you got you got Morris brother. You got He back in Philly. Yeah, he back in Philly. Yeah. But you know, he wasn't really playing a lot of the Clippers late. He in Philly now, bro. You home, you refresh. I'm saying these Batum, are solid pieces. Batum. Solid, solid, solid. Man, solid. Man ain't over there. He didn't who go to Philly. Go? He didn't go. Who, who no, are they go? kept. Who's so they kept. So they got Batum, Morris. Uh, 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 they got one guy that's like the one out. KJ Martin. KJ Martin, the young KJ Martin. Right. That was, right. that, that, that's see, their that's, that's that's best pickup. Shot blocker, slasher, can That's their best pickup right there. Yeah, he did. And then uh, Covington. Covington. Man, that's it. Man, Covington, Covington was catching DMPs with the Clippers. So I'm not sure how much these guys got left in the tank for a long playoff run. Now, what it did do, it helped Tobias increase his role and it increased Maxie's role. So they got to be better. But as far as what they brought, they didn't push the needle on get any closer to the Celtics or Milwaukee Bucks. I just said they got better. By yeah, re- yeah, for sure that. Yeah, just that's mentally, all I'm saying. Mentally, now, they got better. Now, now they're, and they are a, a real contender in the East. That's what I'm saying. I don't think this trade did nothing to say, Embiid, I want to be here. I don't think it did nothing like that when I think about no. it. It didn't say, oh, I'm here for the long run. Like, like when we saw Dame go to Milwaukee. No, it didn't move. Uh, I know what you're saying. Giannis, didn't he jump. signed that deal I got you. I got right you. away. I, got you. I didn't see this trade being like MB, like, oh, no. you know what? I'm here for the long no. run. And it didn't I, do that. It didn't do that. No. This is what I'm saying. Right. So you need a trade. So you need something to happen somewhere. MB, you got an MVP right here. Today. Today. That trade didn't move the needle for MB. Because if shit goes south, I can see him wanting out of there. Man, listen, you know, the parts are the parts. Yeah. You hear what I'm saying? Doc gone. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of day one or yesteryears that's not there no more. So, you know, he, listen, I'm eager to hear his, his thoughts because this is a huge distraction. And then, too, just took away from the glory of coming in, being the MVP. This, this mm-hmm. overshadowed all that. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. You're trying to, you're trying to go into a, a real title run with two teams in front of you, arguably hands down better than you, and hands you know this. Down. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what you got to do to get past the uh, Celtics. You know what you got to mm-hmm. have to get past Milwaukee. And they ain't got it. And they ain't got it. And he knows that. So, you know, that's, 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 that's in the mirror. That's a reality that he got to deal with. But on the side, bro, you're in the house, and the house falling apart. Got a leak in the kitchen. The bathroom ain't flat. You know what I'm saying? You got <laughs> the house falling apart, bro. So yeah. you, got, you got to make a decision. So yeah. I'm eager to see... His intuitiveness, I'm, I'm eager to see his, um, you know, his, you know, sometimes when you, when you frustrate, you, it, it, you know, you play, you yeah, play, yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Nah, that, it, you know, I will say this about him. It didn't. Distracting? I don't think it distracted right. him. He out there playing like, right. I'm still, I'm, like, I'm the best player in the league. And then like, he didn't still. want to deal with this either. He, he kind of yeah, took your. Yeah, he didn't really, <laughs> like, say much about it. Right. He was just like, whatever, you know, it's happening. He understood the situation. Yeah. He said, he's just saying, I got to go out here and hoop and be me. That's P. I would yeah. have a problem with the Celtics. Like, man, hey, P, hey, take it. I got to get ready. <laughs> I can't, I can't be I can't, micromanaging. I can't, I'm trying to can. focus. So I'm like, P, because if have, I ain't I right. Wanna, no, but think listen. about the way I say that. Because if he ain't right, then we I all ain't right. right. I need you right, take it. <laughs> like, you worried about everybody else. But if you ain't you. right, listen, then it's going to really you ain't fuck shit. everything you up. Ain't, no. We leaders, Lord. You ain't yeah, shit. we got to be right. You though. ain't shit. No, nah, we got to be right. I can't be micromanaged. <laughs> Gabe Pruitt over here doing this. Like, dog, come on, bro. Y'all blowing me. <laughs> Shout out to Gary Pruitt, wherever you at, my nah, dog. No, but you know what I'm saying, dog. Oh, snap. You ain't worried about all that. Go like, ahead, Nate. We got to be right. We got to be right. Right. Who's locked in? Who's staying in? The Clippers or Lakers? Ooh, yeah, who's who's up? Who's LA? What you mean, who's LA? 
Stop, P. I didn't have, listen, P. I need to listen. Who run LA? Truth, truth. Stop, Truth. Oh, I'm about to say I need, I, I need, I need the biased answer. I don't need the shh, Inglewood. I don't need no, that. No, I right, need you right. to, you know what I'm saying? I, so if I, all right, so look at this. <laughs> don't use if the you, club. I you, no, no, no. <laughs> if I walk, if I walk. No, I want to hear that. No, club. listen, no. But if I walk into a house and it got, I'm talking about 17 kg pictures in it, who else you think it is? <laughs> <laughs> That's probably KG house. <laughs> That's probably your house. Huh? Or somebody that loves me. <laughs> so when I walk into the Staples and it got some 17 banners, <laughs> that's the motherfucking Lakers house. <laughs> I don't give a I don't give a damn. Harden go to the club and, and LeBron. Right. Go, uh, LeBron no, 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 no. I ain't saying that. 80, 80, 80 getting in first. 80 getting in first. No, 80 getting in first in LA. Lakers in first. It's Clippers still standing in line. I don't care what nobody say. It's the Lakers. Kawhi, get, Kawhi AD, uh, AD at the door. Gabe Vincent is getting in first. He's with the Lakers. I don't want to hear that shit. We got the Kawhi. Lakers. Kawhi Gabe, right here. Two-time Kawhi, champ. Kawhi, Kawhi, Clippers. Kawhi, one second, Kawhi. PG Gabe, right here. James Gabe, Harden. We got Gabe Vincent. Now, it ain't for the mate, James Harden, wait. James, James Harden from this got, motherfucker. We got, James <laughs> Harden from L.A. You got it fucked up. You tripping now, Pete. James Harden <laughs> yeah. from L.A. No, Don't so get what? shit. So what? We got Harden. Gabe, Gabe Vincent's on the Lakers. He's in. <laughs> no way. Lakers in first. <laughs> you go in the club, you can't find Gabe Vincent. James no, Harden listen, people dog. just removed Gabe Vincent from the club. We got De <laughs> Hold on, Mr. Uh, Leonard. We got uh, D'Angelo Russell coming in first. Listen. Before Harden? I got James Harden at the door. Man, you tripping. Hold on. See? We got to whip D'Angelo Russell in first. No way. Westbrook. No, listen, dog. No, hear yeah, what Westbrook, talking? Russell at the door. Listen, we got Russell. Man, you tripping. Get Harden, the fuck Kawhi, out of here. All oh, at the door. At the door. No way. Because you guys hold no on. Way. We got Jonjolo no Russell way. is about to walk no in. No way. Yeah, He's right. with the Lakers. No way. <laughs> the Lakers is getting Sheep. in first. This, <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, right. Yeah, all right. You believe that? I got some marshland for you. I got some land you can build your, your dream house on this motherfucker. You believe that? Hey, don't come to LA think it's sweet. No way. I don't know what Pete talking about. Shit. We got Austin Reeves about yeah, to come yeah, in. Yeah, yeah, all right. Yeah, Austin Reeves and, and Westbrook at the door. Austin, can y'all, Westbrook, hold yeah, on one second. Right, just yeah, one right. second. Just yeah, right. one second. Yeah, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Early on, we, what, what, seven games? How many games? Ten games in? Uh, no, like four or five. Four or five really games? games. We'll stick so we have four or five games. Any team stand out to you or pop out? Like, look good to you? players. Oh, man, anything popping out to me. I watched Indiana the other night. They look, Indiana got some solid pieces on there. I like them. They're not, you know, they're not big market, but they one of them teams. You remember when we was talking about them teams where you roll in, you don't want to see them? Man, Indiana got like four, four motherfuckers, man. They got Halliburton. They got um, Miles Turner, Turner the, beh the Bohemian. Buddy Hill. Buddy Hill. What's the uh, kid from Arizona? Uh, he like a. I mean, I get it. I'm not really tuning no, in. No, I got Indiana it. I right got now. it. I, I, you know I'm what? just what? catching them on, on yeah. Twitter. Matherin. One of the things I want to do, P, is kind of because we're so top heavy sometimes. So much we talk about some of the narrative stuff. Yeah, I like yeah, talking yeah. about the Orlando's. No, let me tell you. Let me tell you though, what's shocking right now? I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna lie. Uh, Dallas. They coming out, the Luka coming out the gates crazy. So 3-0. Oh. They undefeated. Luka's leading He's, points, rebounds, and assists for his team. Ain't and nobody talking about that, dog. Them? Bro, um, they not in the they not in the. You fluff. remember you was like you off them. Nah, that's all. You back I saw on them? I saw, no, no, I'm not. I'm not. Luka Actually, I'm seeing Luca like I'm MVP. He, he looking at. I'm shape. MVP. Y'all got it fucked up. I'm the MVP. That's how Luca playing. Luca man no, went the other night with five crazy. in a row with some. Like some man, come on, man. man he look crazy. Luka and, look, and he been looking crazy every year, but it's like it looked like something different over no, there. No, I don't know, dog. He, I ain't gonna lie. He control a game like nobody I done seen in a long his time. Pace. His pace, like, like his pace, and then that down the stretch, um, he's putting the fear of God in these dudes. Like yeah. you know, straight up, he he's so clutch. I mean, these shots he's hitting down the stretch. I'm like, damn. And you know where he going, P? That's what I'm saying. You, you can't, can't stop even. That shit, you got to respect a lot of the candy he giving, right? Because Dallas coming in, you, we wasn't respecting them because we saw them fall off at the end of the year. So now they getting off to a good start. And I know it's early, but they another wild card in the West. They a wild card, bro. They a wild card. I ain't gonna lie. Like Dallas, if they keep this pace up, oh, I mean, damn. They, but then I've been watching Zion. I've been watching Zion. But we already knew this about dude. When he healthy, when he healthy, 
<laughs> I just seen him beast Julius Randle. I thought man. I would never. I saw that. Hey, like, right. I, hey, no, look. You, hey, look. Hey, no, run that. Run that. I, I won that bet between us two, eh? Oh, you did. You took bro. them. I told you, oh, Lord. Right. Listen. Generational talent. I ain't talent. never seen Julius Randle get beast. Generational he talent. Did. Man, he, he bigger than bro. I know, bro. but Julius Randle's a beast. I we got know that. that. He made, oh my God, bro. He was 3-0 last week. Thank you, I appreciate that. He was 3-0? Thank you, thank you, thank you, Lord, thank you. Oh, Mastro's. I'm 2-1, okay, Mastro's. I was like, Mastro's. okay. Mastro's. 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 I'm 2-1, it's a long season, Mastro's. Mastro's. brother. It's a long season, Mastro's. brother. Mastro's. Mastro's. No, we go, we, I keep the tally, I got the tally. Why he go 3-0? I keep the tally, what you mean, Lord? I Why he go 3-0? I'm at home with the notebook, watching games with the pen in my ear. You had Knicks and he had Pelicans, and then you both had the Cowboys. Right, man, right. Okay, okay. <laughs> versus the Kings versus Lakers, Cowboy. All he right. got to do all this. He know this, man. He know See, this. See, you know what threw me off, though? Because I didn't know that the Pelicans was at home that game. I thought that was the game yeah, was in New York. I thought the Nate, game was in New York. This is all cap, yo. Bro capping. It's all good. Get off, Lord. No, go ahead. Go, Paul. Yeah, I didn't know the, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to do your voice again. <laughs> Hold on. Let me. Let me. Stop. If he can get. If if Harden can get the if Harden can get the Clippers, <laughs> let me, let me, let me. Man, I'm telling you, Luca, Luca, Kyrie. Yeah, that. Man, that shit fell off. That shit fell off like bad dope. F A, F A. Thoughts on the Grizzlies being 0 and 4? I, I really didn't have no expectations for the Grizzlies, especially with Ja Morant missing 25 games, and and then you lose Stephen Adams uh, for the year, and then you asking. You know, Desmond Bay to kind of carry your team with uh, with Jackson in the middle. You know, he's more of a defensive player. It's hard for him. He's not going to really be able to carry your offense. And so, but, you know, the crazy thing about it in the past, they played well without Morant. But everybody see them coming now. And with the West getting better, everybody, other teams getting better. I don't know. Do you wait it out in Memphis because you got so many young players and just see what happened? Or do you make a move? You know, to me, if I'm Memphis, I just wait it out. You know, this is kind of like a, a dead year for them. They throw this one out the window. Mm. They done. Think so? Yeah, this this season done. Just, just let's Washington. get right now. We we on. If I'm Memphis, we we focused on getting John Morant back right. Mm. Let's get him back right. This is what this year is about. You know, getting him back on the same page with the team. Let him come back, play well. You know, clean up his image, and then next year we'll see where he at. Because they still young. You know, we can we can still you know, see where they're going to be at in a year from now. I think just, you know, let's get him off suspension. Let's get him out here and get the fans back excited about his game. You know, they really I don't think they're going nowhere this year because they get off to a bad start. And let's let's refresh his image. You know, let, let's see him in interviews. Let's see him what he on off the court. And, and that's what I'm focused on for Memphis. I don't really got no expectations for them. This is my take on that. Josh started the year and all that, right? So you got the engine going. You got morale. You had a training camp with him. And then he went down for the games, right? Bro, the momentum was already going. This year, you didn't get to start with your best player right. in camp at all. Right. So he didn't have the he didn't That's have his influence difference. on camp. He didn't have no right. energy in the building. Right, bro. We up here thinking that like like just thinking like vibrations and energy ain't nothing. Like your best player brings a certain presence in the in the room. Yeah, exactly. When Pete Pierce was show when the Celtics when they had uh, young uh, uh, Gerald Green and young Rondo and the young boys and they were playing the summers. And T.A. would probably be the OG in there, and they was running this stuff. When P. hit the goddamn gym, the whole energy changed. Everybody started the O's now. And who was calling fouls, right. tighten it up. It, it wasn't the same no more. And then when P. got on, T.A. changed and had to actually take it serious. So I'm saying when your best player right. is in the building, everything changes. Yeah, right. So I expect I don't have any expectations because their best player – is not in the narrative of the fold of what they're doing. So At they the should beginning, make, right. You remember when Golden State, I don't want to say they took the year off, but remember when Golden State, Lost I Curry. think Curry hurt his hand early. Yeah. I think they said Wiseman. They, you know, they started doing like sitting, sitting Wiseman to the Jeep. They, they was doing stuff that I was like, wow, what are they doing? Right. And After just continue, you remember this? And they took that year and it felt like, okay, so look, for the strategy, we're going to go ahead and watch this year, da, 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 we're going to win. And I didn't really hear uh, Golden State in the narrative. I didn't hear mm -hmm. about none of that. You know, uh, Steph Curry, I didn't see him on the bench. He was dealing with his hand. That's what this feels like with Memphis. Memphis is finna go ahead and watch, but they're already on the strategic of next year, this is what we're doing. They mm -hmm. should have Clark back. They should have some of those pieces back. Steven Adams should be back. It's a mm -hmm. whole year now. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And then when Ja comes back, it's about getting the morale of Marcus Smart, Derrick Rose in there, and, and those new parts to be mm -hmm. able to
go ahead and turn. And yeah. this is more about the development, too, of Jared Jackson Jr. Yeah. He's a defensive man. His defense is in front of his offense. They need more offense from him. And I'm not just talking about threes. I'm talking about a post presence that can get you a bucket on the block. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That can, that can hit the little 15, uh, that, little, that little floater when you win there. But he, he has to bring another level of offense because of what they're lacking from uh, job being out. And, uh, yeah, mm -hmm. I don't see it either, Pete. Yeah. But, listen, you know how this go, bro. When you get into a rhythm... You know, it ain't how you start. It's a lot of times how you finish. So, you know, you can start off a certain way and then mm -hmm. get to a point so where, you know, so y'all get some good games. they got a chance games. to still make the playoffs when y'all come back? Man, you always got a chance because we I got I just think the West is so deep that you can't just be falling so far behind. You're right. You're right. But, P, we've been together. <laughs> if we get some of these pieces back, and you don't, you don't never know because, look, if a, look, look at Phoenix. Man, that's another thing I wanted to holler at. Man, why we got so many guys hurt early, early? Early, 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 bro. We just came out of fucking uh, training camp. We just came out of a summer. Got sitting two, three games with a back or a leg or a knee or, yeah. I see you at the game. Talk about the dynamic Man. of what I like to call the new duo, the new <sighs> defensive duo with White and Holiday in Man. the backcourt. What it look like in person, P? Is it scrappier? You know about observations of them. You know, it, it's not only the defense, but they never stop playing basketball. Mm. And listen to me when I say this. You know how like your stars, when I, when I say they don't stop playing basketball, when they on the court, they play every possession. Like they go for offensive rebounds. They d up, they cutting, they setting screens. You know, going they for steals. going for steals. They never stop playing game. Like your mm. star might go over here, you know, wait on the ball or don't go to the offensive rebounds. They play every part of the game you can play. That's why I was asking you to do that. Because it looks scrappy on TV. It Listen, look hella scrappy got the hands in on person because it's like, damn, next year you know, Holiday come up with a big rebound. Right. Or, 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 or uh, Steve. Or White come up with a big offensive rebound. Or oh, shit. oh, shit. Oh, shit. He just hit a big three. Or he just locked him up at the end. It looked crazy. I'm like, dog, this might be the best defensive mm. duel. You know, you know what it remind me of? It remind me of when, when it was Rondo and Drew Holiday. Mm. When they was in New Orleans and they played. Mm. Portland. Portland. And Popped they was they was Popped they was D and Dame and, and, and McCullum up. Popped. I was like, they look it looked like that. They picking, I'm looking at the sales, mm. they picking up full court. Uh they got they got Peyton Pritchard picking up. Mm. Man, they, this they can be scary good because they cause you gotta understand when everybody buy into that side of the ball, it's over. that changed everything in the culture. And it looked like they buying into that side because that, that's what really bring your team together, the defense. And we've been around, because remember how we used to be like, man, we be down, we look up, we down 15, be like, all right, we got to put your shutout right now. They can't score the next four minutes. Right. They can't score the next four minutes. When you said that, the first like, time you like, said that, I looked man. at you and I was like, what you mean? He was like... And I mean, your face, y'all don't know the Paul Pierce. Face. Like, I said, they both score in, in four minutes. The next four minutes. Man, we they didn't score teams. in six minutes. Man, we had shut teams down for like six four minutes. minutes at a time. I look up like, damn. And Kevin Eastman was coming to the, Kevin Eastman was the quietest of all the right. assistant coaches. You're doing a great job, guys. Keep going, guys. And then get out. <laughs> <laughs> remember we went on, man, I remember we was in the playoffs. We played and then we went on like a 25 to 0 that. run. Remember like, <laughs> to remember come that. back. Remember, remember that. We was doing some crazy runs and I see that in this team. Mm. They, they, got have some runs. they got that giddy up. They got that I think they got another button. I think they can press the button. P, you know what I'm worried about with them? I'm worried about. You know what I love about the Siege too? I I, they're in the narrative, but they they're not like they under the radar. They they not, but I, they I are. They, they are, but it ain't. You don't hear them. I don't no, hear them. I don't so, hear. No, because there's so many other narratives stuff going on. and yeah, stuff going. Yeah, yeah, you got yeah. Dame going here, yeah, yeah. and you got Harden. Chris Paul over here, and Harden dealing yep, with this. Yep, yep. It's so many things going on that they could kind of like float under the radar until they really go down. I got to ask you this, switching it all up. Mm -hmm. Man, how, what you think of CP coming off the bench? I said I think that's the only way it can work. Really? Yeah, I, I did because I feel like, you know, his, with his style of play, you know, you got to – CP got to have the ball. I mean, ain't no – CP got to have the ball. You got to put CP in pick and roll. That's where he's most effective. And with the way to go to stay worse play, you know, they pass, cut, and, and Draymond, you know, Draymond, like, they defect their point guard. You know, he's a guy at the top, dribble handoffs. By default. By, yeah. By default. He's a trail a lot of times, you know, right? He, he, they point guard, I feel right, like. Right, right. I mean, he always got the ball at the top. He initiating. Initiating the phase, the, the dribble handoffs. And so it's hard for him, how they crew on how they've been for years, to run that with CP. You know, you, need, you can bring CP off the bench, and he can run like a pick-and-roll style. 
you, you know, to where he coming up into his mid-range and finding guys and stuff. You know, not to say that P CP can't play off the ball because he's done it, you know, with uh, James Harden. He had to play with James Harden. And he's shown that he's a capable shooter. You know, me playing with him, I, I saw that. And so I think it's just best for his comfortability is just probably to come off the bench and then probably end games, you know, fourth quarter. So I, I see that as his best role there. I see the second unit of, of – of um, Golden State being better with him mm -hmm. in that too. Yeah, because you know he brings some leadership to that. I mean, that, but just organization. Organization. Organization, yeah, hey, yeah. get over here, no, slow down, you know, time, right. time in possession, he knows all that. And then he knows where to go to that second group. Yeah. If it ain't him, it's, it's got to be one of those guys, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I like him and Gary Payton Jr. together in the backcourt, you know, GP takes the more. I, I like yeah, what I saw, yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, it, yeah. Took, it took a little more pressure off, off some of those uh, Moody and uh, GP Jr. to come in there. I thought Kaminga was doing a little bit too much trying. It looks like they're a little more settled with him in there. But yeah. I, I wanted to see the dynamic of uh, Steph off the ball. And I think that those things that I'm talking about, seeing Clay playing another role, and then fourth quarter, all the stuff I'm talking about, that's what it's going to be. Because now you got your, you got your, they're used to winning a certain way, but they're also undersized. Golden State kills you with pace and movement. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I don't care how big you are. Yeah. Minnesota coming in with those two bigs, they got to actually sit one of those guys just to be able to, you know what I'm saying? So their style is it's effective. I'm not tripping, but I actually thought Chris Paul was smart enough or IQ-wise to be able to jump in that whole system. You know what I'm saying? To be one of those pieces. And, and you're right. By default, Draymond is initiating a lot of that. And you come in here and you disrupt that, yeah, it's not moving the same. So I see the effectiveness my, of him my coming only, off the bench my being only better thing for with, them. Uh, Golden State is they size. Say it again? My only thing with Golden State is they size. They don't have no no big men yeah. down there and rebounding might be a problem. Yeah. You know, when they got to face these cats that go to offensive rebounds. They or, struggled with Sabonis last year in the Kings series. Yeah. And you know so, what I'm saying? I thought they woke Draymond out a little bit. I thought, I thought the mood, I, I thought you need a couple moodies. You know what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. he, he's, he's the, listen, I've never, I think since 14, 15, since they had a uh, Bogut, they never invested in the high. I think Wiseman may be the last. He was supposed to be. He, that, he didn't want to do that, Lord. He want the ball. I'm a I'm little ticket. I'm a right, nah. Come in right. here, get the rebound, throw it back out, set picks. Right. He didn't want that. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Think about who they went out there. Think about who they actually refreshed their careers. JaVale McGee, um, yeah. uh, uh, Bogut. Um, who are there now? The dude right there now? Uh, 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 Petulia, Jaja. You know what I'm saying? Like, bench that was. Like, what the fuck? Other places? Man, Ashley helped JaVale McGee, Ashley. Wait, who the dude right there now? Looney. No. Nah. Yeah, Looney. Looney over there. Phoenix. You, nah. The who you talking dude. about? You talking about the light-skinned nigga from uh, college? Nah, the Euro. Euro, yeah. The one came from Phoenix. Came from, oh, Sarge. Yeah. Sarge. Sarge. Yeah, Sarge. I like Sarge. Uh, yeah, He's he still undersized, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you need, I, listen, you know who I would love with this group? The boy that's up in, uh, Sabonis is uh, son. I would love Sabonis with this Golden State group because he's he's the perfect kind of big. Can can catch it at top, initiate. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Can initiate, roll, can finish. He ain't got nothing. You can go to him on the block, mm -hmm. but he ain't tripping if he ain't get it. If it come off the board, like Loney comes off like that sometimes, bro. You know what I'm saying? But they don't mm -hmm. give it to him. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. He'll play split close and let them play, but he got to find them. He, he can't go into his own offense. No, no. I think Golden State, man, the only thing, I, I love their movement. I love their pace. They got a system. What they formula, they got the formula. It works. They got to put some size. They got to bring some yeah, bigs you can't in. never count them out because No, cause they of always going to be in. Steph and Steph. Yeah. And just because of who they are. We got some fan <laughs> questions. What's up? Let's get some fan questions. All right, the first one's for you, Ticket. Uh, this comes from Chris. If you played today, which point guard would you want to play with? Who would best fit your game? Oh, man. I always uh, played with, um, well, what, what style always fits for me was guards that was scoring point guards because I would set picks. I knew how to get guys open, and then when I rolled, I rolled big so that you can, you know what I mean? So, um, man, today, um, man, I, I love Westbrook. When I watch Westbrook, just in pick and roll, because he has so much steam coming off the pick downhill, that if you give him a good pick, you know, I got the pop, too, where if he ain't got nothing on the rim, I can go and he can throw lob, too. So, man, Westbrook, um, point guard, that's a good one. Man, dang, whew. Right, man. I like Tyrese Maxey. 
Those three just, you know, come to mind just right Which off the top. Which one, dog? You just named the whole league, I, I'm, bro. I'm, I'm, Name one. What are you, the, the fans? No, I'm saying you, got, you just I'm, named the whole league. I just, I, I just named, named three. Which one? Which I just, one, I just said. Did said you hear? Did you one? hear what I just said? Did you hear what I just said? No, you just named every point guard. I league. just named three point guards. Those three. All right. So which one? Dame. Okay, Dame. Man, Tyrese Maxey. <laughs> <laughs> no guys like that. Yeah. You can't name one. All right. Though. Next question. This comes from Westbrook. <laughs> you Those named guys. the whole league. I named three guys. Halliburton. No, no, I didn't say that. No, Harden. No, no. I would be so, I would be so confused with Jane. Trey Young. Now I get Trey open. Hey, yo, you gotta know I'm the best Trey Young. Trey Young might be a good Trey one. Young. You know, Ooh, Trey Young. Trey Young. Yeah, I could, he know how to throw the lob. He know how to throw the bounce. Yeah. He got everything. And bag. I can set it high where he can yeah. come up and man, if you set a pick for him at half court, right. yeah, he, yeah. Trey Young, those right there. You know, yeah. All right, next question. Uh, this is for both of you. This comes from Carl. Who is the player you both wanted on the Celtics but couldn't make it happen, whether it's free agency or trade during your guys' time together? Does anyone come to mind? When, I, when we were together? When you guys played together, was there a guy in the Celtics you guys were in the locker room like, man, if this dude were on our team, blah, blah, blah? Shit, and we had to re-sign James Posey. <laughs> the hell we was doing? <laughs> Remember we was fighting? Danny like, dropped how that lit? Man, that's probably one of the biggest, yeah. We had to re-sign. That's all we had to do was oh, re-sign. It was James Posey. Yeah, it was one year. They was bitching over one year. He wanted five. They wanted four. Like it was some Man. shit that could have been handled. We ain't never. I ain't never. We yeah. discussed about no, like we, having a player on the team because uh, we we had the formula. We had the formula, and then we had the guys to win. And then we started putting pieces like Avery, uh, Avery Bradley with us, and uh, start putting pieces like you know when we got Shaq. I, I couldn't even believe. It. I knew. I knew these was on the last part of it. Any of them teams would have been healthy after. Yeah, we, we, we get another one. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, even having J.O., we had Jermaine on there. We had, I looked up, man. I looked at our team. I was like, God damn. You know, we got to a point where guys were actually wanting to come play with us. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I can't even think of no, no player no, that nobody we that said, pops oh, out. we want no, him. And, no. Nah. No. Oh, she's a good one. Pose. Yeah, no, I mean, Pose. That's Posey. a real one. We had to do that for sure. And then never letting Perk and T.A. go. Like, those were like killers. That we never, we never bounced we back. Never from bounced them. back from that. Uh, next question comes from Half Court Entertainment. Damn. <laughs> Half, Half Court, court entertainment. entertainment. Okay, Half Court. <laughs> Thoughts on this young Detroit team? Duran and Thompson look like the real deal. Um, so just those bigs over there. I mean, we just talked about Wiseman. Yeah, Detroit, you like Detroit? You like Detroit? Detroit? You know what? Detroit got a good young foundation. Yeah, they do. And in order to grow in the league. For the long gotta term, that, you got yeah. Durham and and and, and, K, and K Cunningham. Yeah, yeah, they look good. I like their foundation yeah. right now. You got something to build with, you know. And then you got other pieces that's still trying to figure it out. Mm -hmm. You know, guys like Ivy and, and the rest of these guys is mm -hmm. like Wiseman. They trying to figure out who they are. Yeah. And, and, and until they figure out who they are, they still got value. So, but right now, who's established them, themselves as foundation pieces is Cade and Durham. You remember when um. It was Zach Levine, Wiggins, mm -hmm. and Carl Anthony Towns, yeah. and we was like, they was trying to establish, they was trying to figure out, what, yeah, right, right. They went off and been their own things. This yeah. kind of feels like that. They got a young nucleus, people. They can keep this team together for like four or five years. You're gonna look up and you're gonna. Kay Cunningham is a presence in the league, bro. He gonna be a yeah, superstar. He's showing me. He's showing me. I like Wiseman, bro. I like him. I, I wish he just, you know, fall well, in. What's and, going on with my other guy, the lefty? Uh, the, the light skinned kid? Yeah, that He's nice. The little guard? No, What's no, no. The lefty, Marvin, the, Marvin Bagley. Oh, yeah. He, I actually saw he looks better, P. He looks yeah, like he's in a better, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Better mm -hmm. spirit. They, so he's that's playing. what I'm saying. They got a lot of good young yeah, pieces. Yeah, I agree. And eventually, they're going to have to make a move to trade to, mm. to build around who mm. I feel like their core pieces is that's Kay. establishing themselves, Kay. Durham and uh, Kay Cunningham. I like so, the Thompson kid, too. He looks good. The twin. And then you forgot about Ivy. And they got him coming off the bench. Now, yeah, Pete. they got him coming off the bench. So until they figure it out, then you know they got they got a good foundation. I like what I'm seeing. I like team. the Pistons too, man. I like the young Pistons team. When I watch them, they're, they're fun to watch. You know what I'm saying? They play with energy. We forgot about the big fella, the big fella from Memphis. Yeah, that's what we talked oh, about. Oh, you said what you said? You call him? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I like him. He catches everything and he dunks yeah. everything, Pete. Yeah. Yeah, I like them. 
All right, next question comes from Anthony. Um, a moment when each of you were most proud of the other, not including winning a championship. So you guys have been friends forever. Yeah. Is there a moment you were, you know, reading a paper or watching on TV and you're like, damn, that's that's my guy. Like, it was nah, I'm gonna tell you this. I, this instantly come to my mind when he when he went pro. When he went pro, I was like, oh damn, I still got the Sports Illustrated. Ready or not, that's the title on the Sports Illustrated ticket. I still got it with my Inglewood address on there. When he went pro, I was like, damn, that's lit. You know what I'm saying? I kept that. I'd had that since 95, that thing almost 30 years old, and I still got it. I was like, damn, that was crazy, because after we went to McDonald's, you know, everybody was like, where KG going to school? And then he was like, ready or not, here I come. <laughs> I was like, that was so dope to see that, because he, he changed the whole landscape of everything that we see today. And I, that was dope. That was dope. Fuck. The last one I can think of, bro, was, um, I think the last one I can think of, bro, when I just looked at your ass like, nigga, we was in Miami and uh, it wasn't no real big barking, but we was all chirping and all, like I can hear Bron and P chirping. I can, ha like I hear Haslam saying whatever, and it was just a bunch of chirping, you know what I'm saying? Doe and Wade was like, it was just a bunch of like little, yeah. and, and, and you know what I'm saying? And uh, P hit them niggas, <laughs> P hit them niggas for the game, and just turned around and was like, cold-blooded. Oh, yeah, yeah. And I was looking at you, and I was like, yo, this nigga is cold, bro. This nigga, this nigga, this nigga P, I think me and Pose are sitting there. I think me and Pose, I think it was me and Pose we came to the thing, because I think they had to call a timeout or something. I was, right. And you were still in it. You was, you was, get a stop. Get a, you was in it. All right. You already knew we was right. going out. You already knew right. that we was going to be out. All, we already knew. But I was looking at you like, yeah, that nigga, that nigga cold. That man. You know, that's I don't, that's what I I said. I'm cold, so eternal. Buddy. I'm so <laughs> eternal. I like to keep y'all safe. Yeah, I was like, yeah. I just looked at you like, boy. Yeah, boy, you, you cold, my nigga. You, you cold. <laughs> right, you cold. I, I had to get that to you, like, boy, that mother called that shit. And I think Doc drew something up, and Pete raced it, like, nah, I want it right here. <laughs> I want it right here, and I'm going to win the game, and we out of here. Let's go. And put his hand in. He was like, fuck it, what he said. Like, right. And then it was something right. fucked up where I was supposed to set it up. Something fucked up. We fucked it up, and then yeah, he just had to go. Mess it up. It he fucked it up, and he's like, up. fuck it. Waved right. it off, like, fuck right. it, I got it. Right. Yeah. Cold bloody. <laughs> right. <laughs> Listen, and niggas don't even know that's one of the tough. Bron right there. He right there. He he is he is right he is right fingernail. There. He's fingernail. Right. When P let it go, you can it, it, it's His like oh because right it was His nifty. Hand was on my hand. We lived the moment right here. Lord, it's, yeah, Lord, he hit my hand. I don't know look, something. Fuck we up. usually run this pick yeah, and roll, roll right, right here. here. He was like fuck it. it, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Listen, that's the same shit he hit uh, Al Harrington with. The same shit, same spot. Same spot a little further out. Right. That was cold. That was cold. That's probably, right. my, that's probably one of my favorite moments of watching y'all, because I know both of y'all, and it was like, yeah, nigga, I want some of that, nigga. I don't give a fuck. Watch out, move. I want some of all that. Nigga. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. And the Joe the Rosen, the ref, Joe was like, hey, you got to shut the fuck up. He's like, shut up, Joe. Like, like, uh, Lord, there's so much going on. Ooh, right. There's so much going on. And then P got the clock in his head. That's what's, that's, listen, as I was watching it, I'm watching your genius. Not only are you, bitch, I'm from the get to you, you got the clock in your head. I'm like, oh, look, man. there's so much genius going on here. Joe the Rose, hey, guys, shut the fuck up and play. Get the fuck out of here, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> Joe the Rose, that shit was funny. Why are you talking, Joe? Come on, oh, let shut us up. Let us Get go. your ass out of here, just rap. Basketball. You don't see that no That's more. That's what I'm trying to tell you, man. You Mike, ain't seeing that no listen, more. Listen, Mike Mathis, all them old ass refs, They're hey, shut up and play. I see it. So what? Play, play through. Like, they would, the refs would holler at you. Yeah, yeah. Man, these the refs, ones, these new refs is sensitive, bro. Laugh because Mike Gorman actually talks about DeRosa coming over telling him to knock it off. Just listen. Right. Look, he 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 threw he threw uh I'm talking to him right there. Look, right here. This is look, this is look. I want it. Look. Look at Joe. Hey, this is classic shit, Lord. We gotta, hey, you know what we gotta do? We gotta start watching games, bro. Lord, this is classic. John Rosen telling them to shut, shut up. up. Hey, this is classic. Hey, you see how Mike called that? Mike called that Mike shit, called bro. That, no. Mike called that shit. Mike called that. John Rosen telling them to shut up. Right. 
It's classic shit, bro. All right, um, some game picks. Game picks. Let's get ahead. Oh, I'm up man. three on your ass now, right? No, right. I'm winning. Two and one. I'm up. I'm three, three on. No, you got. I'm you up good, half man. Game. You up for one hey, half game. Hey, some of that Caymans. You know what I'm saying? Right. Let's catch the game, Caymans. Special <laughs> select, 40th anniversary. <laughs> go ahead, Nate. We gotta go to your cellar. You got all that old vintage. Come on, Lord. I'm gonna bring it. I need you to open it though. You know what I'm saying? You got that old vintage. You know what I'm saying? Right. Saturday. 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 Right. Uh, the Suns going into Philly to take Ooh. on the 76ers. Early. Early game. Early. Early. Who we got? Suns going to Philly. What time the game? 10 a.m. our time to 1 p.m. Eastern. Oh, afternoon. Oh, no, game. I got Philly. You got Philly. Yeah, they, 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 you got to play at 10 a.m. West Coast. West Coast. You know how that'd be hard because that used to be hard when you go from west to east. <sighs> that's a that's listen. hard. People don't understand that that's a real thing that goes yeah. into it. Listen, because your routine, you know how your routine everything is at is this off. time. I'm like this. My body feel like this. This is the time I wake up. When you change that time zone, bro, and you playing, it's like, play, all right, we got a game at 10 in the morning. Right. That's what it's going to feel like to Phoenix. I got, I got Philly. I got Philly. You got Philly? You got yeah. the Phoenix coming out? You know what I mean? I, then, I feel like it's fresh air in Philly now. Oh, hey. <sighs> fresh air. And the new piece is going to be yeah, gas, right, yeah. right, right? Yeah, and then no Booker. And no bill. Uh, I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with Philly. I'm gonna yeah, go with I'm the Philly home team too. too. I say this because uh, not only is everybody rejuvenated, it's, it's, it, this is the start of the journey now. Mm-hmm. We got all that. We got the, we got the clutter out of here. We can, we can now focus on we winning focus and on going basketball. Yeah, yeah, which is what this is all about. Right. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go. With, I'm gonna go with the home team. Yeah, me too. The Hawks going into New Orleans. Man, the Hawks been playing well. They they popped nah, up. What's the name? Ain't been playing good. Oh. Trey Young ain't been playing. But good. the Hawks have been playing. They pop. They pop Milwaukee, bro. They the, the, the they did pop Milwaukee. Murray is he? Man, he's aggressive. He's playing well. I get it. We we we. I think all the stars in the league. I'm telling you, Pete, need that little ten to fifteen games. Everybody just yeah. Like, motherfuckers, man. You know what I'm saying we. And we always so we see the film home. of motherfuckers playing at the end of like September and shit. You know what I'm saying? You can tell when guys hooping. Ain't nobody no real rhythm yet. I'm on the Zion bandwagon right now. Are you jumping we, on it now, I'm, huh? I'm, I'm, I've been on it when he healthy. When he healthy, you can't I'm be on the Zion bandwagon taking the Knicks. That's what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? I thought the game was in New York. That's why. Oh, I word? Thought, yeah, I thought the game was oh, in no, New that's York. That's even going to be even more like crazy. Go out. But at home, Zion, he going he gonna to give him that gumbo special. You mm. know what I'm saying? So. He gonna stir that pot up, like, mm. and, and, and feed them that good, that good gumbo, that, that little good bit of, that, that, that good, a little, you know, some gumbo, a little bit of everything. That yubba. <laughs> Get yeah. that yubba. Put some yeah. of that yubba in there. Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> right. Right. Listen, man. Oh man, I, I, I like I like New Orleans at home, but the Hawks have been no, playing they, they great. Have been. They, no, they, they, that's a good one. And though. they traveled too. I'm gonna go with the Hawks on this. So I like right. I like New Orleans. It's it's hard to go against Zion too, man, because. Every time I watch him now, he's getting better, losing man, a little more weight, strong, stronger. He strong out there. He's man, bro. Like I didn't think a player could be in our league without a jump shot. Like when I watched Ben Simmons, you know what I'm saying? I was like, man, how's he getting that off? Yeah. Zion, what? if you listen, if you if you give him the jump shot, he takes the space up, and his handle. Bro, his handle, bro. His handle got better. Man, God damn. I'm talking about it's in the mix, too, Pete. Yeah, it's not yeah, like yeah, yeah. He's you sitting the pick four and five. Like, the pick like bro, I'm right here in, in range. Right. He, he mixing. Yeah, yeah. Bro, his mix. Bro, listen, let me tell y'all something, bro. When you ripping and you going through guys, you know, uh, 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 offensively going downhill, you got to attack the front foot to make the foot move, right? If not, you bro, blow right by him, right? Bro, he in, he in contention of where you can actually get the steal and guys uh, can't even steal it, bro. No, I, for real. Bro, he, he can't he, get to it. Man, he turned face, dribble, cross, spin, ah, and it's a rare. He got all the. <laughs> yeah. Lord, he, Lord, I didn't know, Lord. I ain't gonna lie, that's Lord, exactly he, how Fuck I a look. jump shot. I'm not going to no jump shot. No I'm at your ass. Right. He, <laughs> man, I saw somebody try to give him, like, go ahead and take that. He was like, nah. Nah, I'm taking the space. <laughs> I'm taking like, the space. Man. I'm going to get what I want. Man, Zion, bro, keep going, bro. Keep going. B.I., man. Are you worried about B.I.? I ain't really, he ain't really had them games like I'm looking well, for. I don't know. We'll see. He is early. You know, these guys coming off these injuries. Mm. And so they got to sometimes take a little more time to get the rhythm. Damn, P. So the young element out the, out the, out the equation? I don't know, because it, it, it didn't take me, a, I didn't need a rhythm at the beginning of the season. I was in rhythm. 
Like when I started getting to my 33, 34, it took a while to get the That's rhythm. What I'm saying, bro, you he, man, I look man, at I AD, know. man. AD looks like an old ass 20, whatever he is. AD you looking me? good right now, though. No, 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 he, he looks, looks good. good. I'm just talking about. Yeah. But 20 something, you, you, you energy. You, yeah, yeah, yeah. you see how the Thompson kids playing? Both energy. of them. Energy. How they go baseline tip though? Ha! Ah, you throw a lot. Ha! Ah, they. All right. That's young, bro. You. Bro, these motherfuckers 25, 26 years old, and they, you know what I mean? Ain't, ain't moving like that. Down, yeah, huh? yeah, yeah. That's what it is. And they're not even practicing, though. That's what it is. They're not practicing. They're not in the best shapes, bro. These kids they ain't in the best shapes, bro. Let's be. keep it 100. Not like us. Not like we practicing not, every I'm a day. Fucking machine, dog. Right. Told you, dog. Man, anyways. Man, I'm watching it. Man. Let's move to the NFL. Ooh, let's get some NFL picks in here. First. Right. Chase Young was the biggest move going from the Commanders to. Uh, oh, yeah. Chase Sanders. Young went to the Niners. Nigga. The ni I don't even hey, know. Church, put a million on the Niners. Bosa and Chase Young? Lord, the, and then they got another know. kid on the line. I don't even know who Chase Young is. Chase, bro. boy, you, you don't know who Chase Young? The living he predator, play? bro. He what, looks what, like what a real live predator. What Nigga, like 6'9, 305 with a 4'3. A motherfucking press up 700, like nigga. What, what, Chase what, what position he play? Right in. He's a right in, in, left in, oh, nigga. Yeah. And he was the second pick. In second the pick in the draft, draft. Lord here. He looked. He, then he got. He looked like the uh, the Bob McLeod man from the uh, from the boy uh, the, the how many How many sacks he got this year? <laughs> you going to the stats? I'm no, I'm saying you said he a killer. Oh no, I'm, I got I'm telling you who he is. He got the blonde, he got the blonde dress, Lord up, Lord. Man, like, I just was at the park. I seen this cat, 6'9", 40 years vertical. He looked like he run a 4'4". Four, four. Did he play for the commanders? Nah, but he couldn't okay. he could throw he a rock in, he could throw a rock in the ocean. Five sacks on the year. Just, just, oh, talking. that's good though. That's solid. Yeah, Chase, Chase Young is I gotta, I gotta, he I that deal. He that deal. Right, he gotta, going to people, he's going I gotta to the Niners. I gotta pee my guy. Dude. He's going to the Niners, bro. He he's serious. The Niners need it. They lost three games in a row, so they, they need some help. Yeah, they need well, some let's, help. let's go to some games. First one up, NFL going to Germany. Oh, so NFL in Germany, bro. On a That's Sunday? Lit. That's lit. Monday. On a Sunday, Sunday. When is, when is the league going to follow suit? I feel like we should have more games out the country. They do Mexico City a little bit. That's not out the country, bro. Mexico City. Okay. That's not out the it country, is, bro. Okay. Technically. Mexico City is not out the country. You counting that? I am, because no. you got to show ID the border. What? Man, Mexico City is not out the country. We got to go to London where they got these okay, arenas. That's how, that's, that's let's how. go during the regular season, though. But let, let's go over here to these spots. That's, I mean, we a world game. We, they got arenas. I feel like the NBA should have been this on that. More. Saudis are finna start having NBA games in Saudi Arabia. In regular watch. season, though. No, that's what I'm saying. Because, like, they didn't did it. I think the Saudis going to try to put, like, a world game on, like, where, they, where the league is playing other leagues. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That would be dope. That'd like be a dope. world Euro league. I, I would like that. You know what I'm saying? I just get, let, let me. Let, let, let you me know be what? Yeah, that would be dope. You guys have said that, doing it, like, London or Paris for that'd be, weekend. And you know what, too? For this play-in, man, I wish the league would have did play-in jerseys. Have y'all seen the play-in courts? What do you think of that? Oh, no, 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 no. This is the tournament. This is the, the new the tournament play, the, what, what I, what I say? But, the play-in court. What I say? I'm sorry. I'm in sorry. In-season in season tournament court. I'm at the in-season court. Yeah. You seen the in-season, of course? Sounds Lord, nice. Lord, they should, do, they should do jerseys with that. Lord, the league should have matched up the jerseys with the court. Yeah, oh, yeah. man. Yeah. And then let somebody like Supreme or let like, uh, you know, gallery department grab it or something or custom got something. Man, they, they, they would have. They got skims. They got skims. You lost me, bro. <laughs> <laughs> All right, back to the you lost me. Hey. What does that even mean? The, the, the official underwear, like for the league. What are we doing, Lord? It's on the staple center. I know floor. what we're doing. It's on the floor. I saw that on the floor. I seen that. I didn't know what I was looking at till I saw. Me it. neither. The, I saw the, it. The I was like, "What am I looking at?" And then right. I saw it. So what's that? We so got to come out with our own underwear line. Call it. What are we gonna call it? Draws. <laughs> <laughs> draws. No, we're gonna call them. We're gonna call them. We you remember draws? Them. Gonna, no, hey, look, back in the day when you hit all that was draws. 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 Right. We did. Draws. Hey, listen. <laughs> when your uncle came out and gave you that little in and out, draws. Draws. <laughs> and he just said, like, it was all bottom. I'm like the IRS. Draws. Yeah. Draws. <laughs> yeah. Draws. 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 Draw. P might say that. Draw. Come in, T.A. Check, nigga. Draw. Dolphins, <laughs> <laughs> Chiefs, who do we got? Ooh. Dolphins, Chiefs, P. Who you got? Who? Where is that? I'm Chiefs right now. Germany. I'm Chiefs. Oh, I'm Chiefed up. 
You chiefed up. Chiefed up. You chiefing? Mahomes, I'm chiefing. You chiefing? I'm chiefing. Taylor Swift is under the Taylor, oh. <laughs> Taylor Swift is, she is under Is she in Germany? Is she rhyming? She definitely going. Let's be honest. Let's be honest. She I'm going to Miami. I'm going to Miami. She's going to have a concert. I'm going to Miami. She's going to have a concert tonight. Nah, before. she ain't going undefeated. No. Nah. She undefeated, Lord. She ain't going undefeated. She's in Germany. Got to see nah, she undefeated. I ain't betting against Taylor Swift. She undefeated. Oh, no. I'm betting. She had I'm betting. Bro. I'm going. Listen, dog. Right. Screaming Eagle. She got a show tonight. Screaming before. Eagle. She got a show tonight. Screaming before. Eagle. Screaming Eagle. All the fans is flying out. No. The NBA is on watch. So, look, you got your girlfriend here. You jet lag. It's too much. That's too heavy. I got my no, bags. We, right I got... now, we 4 0 with her at the game. No, no it's Three too much. Something. It's, it's, it's exhaust. It's, it's, I see it start to over. It's, it's, it's going right now, over now. Kelsey's it's too up for MVP. Too... <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> And a, on, and, and, on, a and, and, and a Grammy. And a Grammy. And a Grammy. And a Grammy. The fuck out of here. I'm cool. We over this. Let's move on, people. Let's move <laughs> on. Let's move on. Let's keep this sucker free. All right, let's see here. Next game. Cowboys, Eagles. Ooh. Eagles are three point favorites Where is here. It at? Where is it at? It's in Philly. Oh, Cowboys, Philly. Ain't no chance Cowboys walking out of there with a win. No mm, shot. Right. Beanie Siegel gonna be there. Right, everybody. Man, you crazy. Meek Mills in the yeah. building. Meek Mills, man, it's over. Uzi. <laughs> yeah, come on. Will Smith. Damn. <laughs> Kevin Hart gonna be there. <laughs> hey, listen. It's lit right now in Philly, though. You know what I'm saying? Man, AJ Brown, Philly he killing, got, Lord, straight up. Philly got this. Philly, yeah, I'm going with Philly, too. That's that's a good call. Even though the Cowboys look nice, if they gonna have the cheesesteaks popping. Oh, yeah, Geno's all day. Oh, all day, man. all day, day. Let's get it. And that's it, ticking the truth. Holla. Draws. <laughs> Draws. It's a brand new exclusive event with all your favorite South Park characters. There's Cartman. I had explosive diarrhea all night. Stan. Dude, school is going to be so awesome today. Butters. Oh, hamburgers. And oh my god, they killed Kenny. I like big boobs. How does this even make any sense? It makes perfect sense. I think the problem is you. South Park, joining the Pandaverse, all new, now streaming exclusively on Paramount Plus.